so many challenges there had to be with filming this. I'm wondering if the largest challenge were the flies. Man, they were everywhere. I think at one point, one went into your nose. Oh, uh, like, uh, there's that one shot. It's, it's one of the most impressive things ever. And got, there's, there's a fly in Guy's eye. And you just see it. It's, like, the it's in the white of your eye. And it's like, how are you not blinking? Yeah, they're challenging. I mean, but when you're in the moment, in a scene, I think you kind of, you tune out on some mm. level. As, as Rob sort of said, as soon as they call cut, you go, oh. And that's when you notice them. <laughs> it is strange that, how you can do that with cold or anything. Mm. Like... It's yeah. so bizarre. Like these actors no are choice. such busy complainers most of the time. Yeah, and then it just turns off for like a couple of minutes. You need camera rolling all the time, and yeah. then you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> we will be our best selves if that was That's true. Right. Yeah. And now, also, I I grew up in New York City, so the most terrifying thing in the world for me is wide open, empty spaces with no people. <laughs> and so much of this movie is that. What was it like being out there? Was it nerve-wracking at all, not knowing if there would be a vulture that would land on you or, you know, all the things that could happen? Oh, it's the emptiness more than anything else that is, you know, it's because it's amazingly beautiful, but it's also kind of terrifying. It's terrifying because it's so empty. I never worry about things eating me. I worry about everyone just, like, waking up one morning and everyone's gone. Gone. And I'm out there by myself, mm. and I know that I would probably die within a few hours. A few hours. <laughs> On know. those really hot days, if you were just out there in it, I reckon you'd it's a couple of hours and you'd be dead. I did a movie in the desert once a few years ago, and at the end I thought, I'm going to stay here for a few days after everyone's left, <laughs> which I did, and literally about 24 hours later I was like, why? Why did I do this? <laughs> I realised how much I rely on the crew being around me. Your brother left you to die. He's abandoned you out here to me. Your death's going to come real soon. Someone once said that the best way to judge a society is by how they treat the most defenseless of the society. And without giving anything away, does the ending make this actually a hopeful tale about humanity and, and where we're headed? I, I think so. I mean... What do you think? I've always thought it was a really I th I've always thought it's a really hopeful movie. Whenever anyone says it's like bleak and stuff, I think it's really kind of rich and hopeful. <laughs> like maybe that's just how my experience shooting it as well. Yeah, I mean, I you know, for me, the movie is a is a is a movie about people finding intimate and meaningful connection with other people. You know, or just things that are important. It's about, in some ways, it's about even when everything is 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 challenging and 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 collapsing, there's still you know, the, it's the, the still sentiment survives, you know. That looks good. Is this man your friend? <laughs>